Hi guys, Sharon here. Today I'm reviewing this Technique Master Bezel Set Pro for Cooks and Gold. It comes in this lovely wooden box, has two hardwood handles and punches ranging from a size 1.5mm up to a 20mm. It does state there to check the bezels before first use and I'm guessing this is because some of the bezels do have a few sharp nicks on the outer edge. But having used the punches, this doesn't really matter because that outer edge never actually touches your bezel. The handles are finished off really nicely. They're nice and smooth and they fit really well in the hand. One is a mushroom shape, the other is a pear shape. Uh, and what I like about this is it's really easy to adjust the length of the punch to fit your hand because sometimes you can't adjust that and it's either too long or too short so that's really nice um, having used this a couple of times now the key to this working right is to choose the right punch if you don't choose the right punch it's not going to set your stone so it's a bit of guesswork until you've got used to it. That's personally what I think. Um, looking at it, this looks like it could be the right size, but you won't know that until you give it a go. But what you're looking for is you want to get a punch that's just slightly bigger than your bezel. But you won't know if that's the right size until you actually use it. And that is the one thing that is a bit difficult about using this set but once you've used it a few times you get used to the placing of the punch over the bezel and then you know here's a sapphire ring that I made and it was my first ring and it set absolutely wonderfully I did think that maybe the stone might move during the setting process and it didn't so I was so pleased with this um, I what I did with this is I used the punch on its own with a hammer going around in a circle then I used the punch in the handle going around in a circle again and what that does is it burnishes the outer edge giving you a really nice finish. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and make a couple more rings like this and then I'm going to come back and hopefully show you the process of setting the ring perfectly. Okay, so I've got a punch that I think is the right size. Not bad. Must make sure that you have a good seat for the gemstone to sit on because otherwise it's not going to sit straight. And that looks like it's sat really well. going to put it into the handle now and I'm going to give it a burnish and then it's finished and that is set and what I like to do at the end after I've set it is I like just to go inside and give it a nice little burnish and that's done. So I have made all of these rings using the master bezel punch set and they have set really beautifully and I'm so pleased with the set. Um, I have even set two cabochons now that I have got used to 
the way the punch set works. Basically, the technique is to choose a punch just slightly bigger than your bezel and make sure you have a good seat for the gemstone to sit on so it doesn't move about and then it works wonderfully. Um, with the cabochons what I've done is I have I have basically used two punches, a bigger one to bring it in and then a uh, a smaller one to bring it in further and that has set it really nicely so um, the bezel punch set is wonderful if you choose the right punch and you have a good seat if you do not choose the right punch it just won't work for you at all